Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another Game Algorithms video. In this video I want to discuss Wandering AI. The basic concept for Wandering AI is to have a game object, have the ability to wander around its environment, which is this entire screen here, to have the ability to wander around its environment and have a random aspect to it. That's the goal for wandering AI. There are two techniques we could use to accomplish this. The first technique is to assume the object assume the object is already moving. It has a velocity and it has an angle. So we know the direction is pointing because it's moving in that direction. So it has a velocity and it has an angle. As it's moving, we can set it to have a different angle. So we have a angle delta equals new angle to point two. So we have a new angle to point two. So we'll say it's We'll say it's that. We want the object to point to the new angle, and we want to do that slowly. We don't want it to be an instant change to that new angle. So then we need to lerp or linear interpolation to that new angle. Lerp to the new angle. Angle, which will also also changes velocity because velocity we can determine by our speed, which won't change, and our angle, which will change. So our velocity will change because our angle is changing. So this is the first way to do this. And once you point to the once you get to the new angle, you repeat the process. Once you are at the new angle, repeat the process. So we repeat the process whenever we reach our destination angle, which will give us a new angle, which will make us point a different direction, and will give us a zigzag effect. So this is one way to accomplish this wandering AI topic. Right. Another way, we have our object here. This technique, we will assume our object is not moving. So when we throw an object into the world, it will not move. We then need to put wandering AI on top of it, which will make it move. So our object is not moving. We need to scan ahead by a certain length. Let's say 20 pixels, 30 pixels, 100 pixels, whatever the length is. So we scan ahead where it's pointing by a certain length. and we get a point. This is the scan point. So scan point is equal to position, the, uh, let me undo that, the object's position, Scanned point. 
had a certain length. All right, so the scan point is the object's position. Our object's position is here. So our object position is there. So we scan it ahead a certain length and maintains angle. So don't scan it ahead this way. We scan it ahead by where it's pointing. So the scan point is the object's position, which is here. Ahead. We, we scan it ahead by a certain length, L, and maintains an angle. So it scans it in this direction. So that's our scan point. Next, we need to offset our scan point. So our scan point will give us a kind of a circle here. We need to offset the scan point by a delta angle. A delta angle to offset scan point. So we're going to offset our scan point by a delta angle. So let's say our delta angle, we have an angle here. Our scan point has an angle. It's very small because our object's rotation is very small. Our scan point will be offset by a delta angle. Let's say it's going to be this. Uh, let's put that here instead. All right. So our scan point is going to be offset by the delta angle. And we see visually that it's going to be here. So what do we do now? Our object is pointing to the scan point because we maintain the angle. We need to seek seek to we'll call this destination. So seek to destination. And an important factor here is slowly. So we still want to use we still want to use lerp for this because we want to slowly seek to the new destination which will slowly rotate it and slowly change its velocity to the new destination. So our velocity is going to be determined by, our velocity is going to be this. That's going to be our new velocity. But our velocity now is zero, and our rotation is set to whatever this current rotation is. So we just lerp to the new velocity and new angle, and then once we reach that destination, once we reach destination,
Repeat the process. Okay. So this technique is the preferred technique where we seek to a new destination point that's offset by the scan point. We have our position. We scan ahead. Talking about this part now. Our object has a position. We scan ahead by a certain length of your choice and it maintains the angle. If our object is pointing this way, we scan ahead in this direction. We don't scan ahead in this direction. So we scan ahead in the direction it's pointing. It maintains the angle. Not valid here. Valid there. So we scan ahead by a certain length and we maintain the angle. So that gives us our scan point. We offset the scan point by a delta angle. Talking about this now. We offset the scan point by the delta angle and that will give us our destination. Next, we need to seek to that new destination slowly, so we use lerp. We lerp to the new velocity and new angle, so our object slowly rotates. In this example, our object will slowly move and rotate counter clockwise. Because this example, we want it to rotate this way, which is counterclockwise. So that's why we use LERP. It's not going to be instantaneous. I'm pointing to a new angle. We want it to slowly move and slowly rotate to that new angle. Lastly, once it reaches its destination, we repeat the process. So we'll pick a new, we'll scan ahead, get a new delta angle, and we'll pick a new destination and seek to that. So this is the preferred technique where we pick a point and we scan to that point. The other technique is kind of a... It gives you the illusion that it's seeking, but all you're doing is just randomizing the, your rotation and using LERP for that. It's not the act, it's not the actual wandering AI. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a few issues trying to get drawing to work properly. I got delays for some reason. I'm not sure what was going on. Uh, we will be performing, this is the second way. We will be using the second way in the code once we revamp the Artificial Intelligence series. Uh, I did the first way five years ago, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and check my game Artificial Intelligence series for Wandering AI. And all we did we just randomized the rotation of our object. For this approach, for the revamping of the AI, we will be using this approach. We will scan ahead, pick a point, offset it by a delta angle, and pick a destination, and we will seek to that destination. Once that's done, we will repeat the process indefinitely. And that will give us a nice wandering AI. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me see what the next video is. All right. So the next video will be obstacle avoidance AI. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.